Well, it has been a unique week in Lebanon with very deadly consequences. There was this wave of coordinated blasts that shut down Hezbollah's ability to communicate. And today, right on cue, airstrikes took place. Joining us live now is our Sky News US analyst, Michael Ware. Michael, uh, good to see you. So you have to say this has been carried out with extraordinary military precision. Well, isn't this one of those classic Israeli kind of operations? So daring, so complicated, so perfectly timed, so intrusive and so clinically targeted. It is a hallmark of the Israeli secret services or the, the intelligence agencies. Now, look, we've seen you know, over three dozen people killed from these attacks, almost 3,000 wounded. So we had pages blowing up one day. Then we had Hezbollah walkie-talkies blowing up the next day. Israeli jets zooming over Beirut, dropping flares, breaking the sound barrier. And now, as you say, today... We're seeing missile strikes and, and the trading of rocket fire. There's two key things, I think, to take out of this. One is this is a reflection of what the Israeli Minister for Defence said just earlier this week, that the centre of gravity of Israel's defence and its ongoing war is shifting north to the Lebanese border, which means they're gearing up for something mm. with Hezbollah. And this is... Very much an illustration of that. Okay. For one. Yeah. Okay. Continue on that point because I, I, I got a point on that. You know, gearing up towards what? Well, this is the great question. Is this just uh, 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 a messaging technique? I mean, this certainly disrupts Hezbollah. It doesn't cripple them. It doesn't shut them down, but it does affect their com ability with command and control, and it certainly affects their morale. I mean, even the Hezbollah leader called it an unprecedented blow and an act of war. But was this just messaging to say, don't even think about escalating operations against us? Or was this a precursor to what we saw in 2006 was an Israeli ground invasion? And I was there mm. for that, and it was pretty brutal. But the other thing to say that this is extraordinary, these attacks, in the sense that this is the most historic supply chain attack or disruption mm. we've ever seen. Because it's not like they just clicked a button and these things blew up. They had to find out where Hezbollah was sourcing these walkie-talkies and pages. One set was in Taiwan, one set was from Japan. A uh, company in Hungary distributed some of the pages. And at some point in that chain, Israel had to interrupt it and put actual explosives inside them or affect those devices in some way. This is the most stunning supply chain operation the world has ever seen. Yeah, and, and sort of just beyond that, I mean, I know that Hezbollah called this a declaration of war, Michael, but what are they going to do in response? They can't communicate now. Well, they, they still can, mate. They still can. I mean... Clearly, none of the top leaders were affected by any yeah. of these attacks because they're above and beyond this kind of um, vulnerability. I mean, uh, they largely communicate but man to man with human careers. Yeah, but that, and but other, that takes time. That, you can't get immediate message. Like, let's say you know, you know you're in Beirut and you got to you know talk to another part of the country. I mean. <laughs> What, are you going to catch a bus? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can't send a bloke on the mule over the mountains, no. <laughs> but, but trust me, these guys have a lot of ways to work around. Sure. This, Hezbollah has a lot of workarounds. And, and look, we're, we're playing high stakes here because we all know that Iran is behind Hezbollah. But Hezbollah is 10 times, 20 times, some people say 100 times bigger and more lethal than Hamas in Gaza. So if the Israelis really do want to take these guys on, it will be a knockdown yeah. fight. Trust me. Sure. Yep, I remember that last one, 2006. First thing to go was the airport. Very tactical from Israel. Couldn't get flights out. That's actually also why Penny Wong, uh, our foreign minister, says if you can, get out now. Michael, we've got to leave it there. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon.